guys, welcome to ADR Tech Reviews, and today I'm back. I'm back after last week not being able to post up a video because my house is under construction. It's all dusty and I'm all sweaty because there's no air conditioning. And no matter what, today I'm going to bring you guys a video. It's Sunday, so today I'm going to bring you guys a video of this. The ASRock AM1BITX motherboard. Alright, so you guys can already guess what's going to be going on with this. I'm going to go ahead and put a 5350 in this, so... I'm going to be putting up a build log sooner, more later than sooner, because I just still need to get the case and all that stuff. It's just a big fiasco. But anyways, let's go ahead and uh, look at this little board here, because although if you guys know, I'm not too particularly fond of Ace Rock boards, uh, you know, because of another board that I'm not going to mention, <laughs> uh, Ace Rock 990FX Fatality. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just a little coughing fit there. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear it. The audio kind of sucks, mainly because I don't feel like putting up the microphone right now. My computer is not behind me, mainly because it's going, it's just getting cleaned up so I can do some editing on it later for this particular video because it's all dusty and stuff. Ugh. Okay, anyways, let's go ahead and look at the box here. So let, a little closer look here. We got some full spike. I don't even can't even read that. Full spike protection. Surge protection, lightning protection, and ESD protection, electrostatic discharge protection. Basically saying that anything involving electricity won't affect it, which I kind of doubt. Uh, although this is a like mid $30 board, I'm not particularly sure I don't have it up with me, but it's a fairly cheap board considering it's an ITX board. It's very tiny, very tiny. Uh, it does have full solid capacitors, which uh, I really like to see. Uh, I kind of already know this from Ace Rock. I know their 990FX board already had full solid capacitors, which is good, but I know on a lot of ITX boards, you don't see these full solid caps, which can be very important to the life of your motherboard. And I know because I've had lots of motherboards and graphics cards just die because of a capacitor problem. And no, it's not my fault. But anyways, uh, yeah, this is a very small ITX board, and let's just go ahead and open this box because just who likes seeing boxes I like seeing the good stuff the inside alright guys so we're gonna be going ahead and doing this unboxing on my little chair I'm just here sanding up with my camera because I can and there's nothing there's well there's nowhere else where I can do this because my couch is just full of crap so let's go ahead and open this well I'm gonna show you guys first the full spike protection crap that I'm not gonna test out because I'm not stupid let's just open this up Gonna head and greet it with a manual with a CD disc inside. No little sticker for you to put on your case, but really, who does that anyway? I know I don't. Just throw that aside. And you're also greeted with a very, very aluminum IO shield, which you can place anywhere. I'm just gonna put it on the floor because I have nowhere else to put it. And uh, how many are these? Two SATA connectors here because, yeah, SATA 3, 6 gigabit per second. To, uh, you know right angle to straight or straight to right angle whichever one you prefer I like this not a lot of motherboards contain two right angles but this one does so that's a plus for me and let's get on with the good stuff because that's what we want to see correct though all right so let's skip this part where I open it up and go straight to where the motherboard is let's go come on go Alright guys, so the motherboard is out, and under this motherboard came a little pink foam, which is really nice to see, I guess. I don't know what this pink foam does, but it's there, basically. So here we have two DDR3 uh, RAM slots, supports up to 1600 MHz uh, RAM, which is perfectly enough for this AM1 socket. It's a very low power socket. As you can see, we only have a 24-pin power connector. No 4-pin power connector for the CPU, which was surprising for me because I was like, what? Where's the 4-pin power connector for the CPU? But this one doesn't have it. I don't know. I don't know why this doesn't have it. Where is it? I don't know. Well, anyways, we have one USB 3.0 connector, two USB 2.0 connectors, other connectors for stuff uh, we have a front panel I.O. connector, uh, a little speaker connector, I don't know if you can see, it's right there. Uh, we have four SATA 3, 6 gigabit per second uh, connectors there. One, uh, where is the other one? Two, three, three fan connectors, as from what I can see, I'm kind of blind, I guess. And one PCIe 4X connector. This does support 16X 
but I don't know why you would put a graphics card in here. It's not really going to do anything. The CPU is probably going to bottleneck it. But if you want to put a graphics card here, it's going to fit. You just will be running it in PCIe 2.0 4X. So I guess that's a compromise there for you guys. And also you guys can see all solid capacitors. Uh, I don't see any heat sinks on it. So I guess it doesn't really need a heat sink for it. I'm not going to be doing overclocking for this. Guys, I'm not stupid. I promise you guys, I'm not stupid. But yeah, no overclocking on this because again, I'm not stupid. Well, guys, there's a board for you guys. We're going to go ahead and turn this around so we can see these little back I.O. things. Let's go ahead and look at that. All right, guys, here on the back, you can see uh, two USB 2.0 connectors. Let me just point it to it. There we go. One PS2 mouse and keyboard connector. You can just split it off. Uh, a VGA and a DVI-D, if I'm not mistaken. And an HDMI connector for your onboard video for that. AM1 little Athlon CPU or Sempron that you can put in there. A very large pink parallel port. I kind of forgot what these things do. I'm not from this generation, guys. I'm not from that generation with parallel ports. Not that I can remember for, but whatever. A 10 gigabit per second uh, Ethernet port. Two USB 3.0 ports. And your audio ports right here. Well, guys, there's my very snappy review of the Ace Rock AM1B ITX. Did I even say that right? Let me check. Yes, I did. I said that correct. AM1B ITX motherboard by Ace Rock. We're going to go ahead and put a 5350 in here, an Athlon 5350. Very, very small box. It's like smaller than my face. Inside that board, as well as this 4 gigabyte stick of AMD Entertainment Memory. I've heard good things about Radeon Memory. Let's go ahead and put that to this test. I don't know if you guys want to see reviews on either of these products. Uh, you guys can leave me a comment down below if you want to, I guess. And also leave me a comment down below if you like the style of review. It's a very quick, very snappy review. I don't think I'm going to be doing too much editing on this because I just want to get this done. I mean, obviously I'm having lots of fun, but if you guys want to see a lot more of these, like one take, you know, very fast reviews, just go ahead and also leave me down a comment. Also like it or dislike it if you want, whichever one you feel like, I guess. If you're very mad one day, just go ahead and dislike it if you want. Same thing for me. Uh, share this to all your friends. Go ahead and subscribe if you want because you can't get enough of my face. And guys, I'll see you in the next one. Where is my control? Where is my remote? Oh. It's in, it was in my hand. Oh. Well, I, I guess I'll just...